Hey guys, so long time no talk. I'm sorry if the lighting is like all kinds of weird. I am in my car waiting to go into work, but I have a couple minutes. So I thought that I would spend the time to talk to you and tell you kind of what's been going on in my life. Um, if you're on my Facebook, you know that I have gone back to work. Um, I think I told you all on YouTube too. I love it. Um, and I feel really bad for saying it like that. I really do truthfully love my job. It is an emotionally draining job sometimes. Um, I deal with customers all day long on the phone. And most people who call aren't very happy to be calling someone. And they're very frustrated with the way that my work is. Um, you call us instead of your local store and we answer all your questions for you. Because the local store usually only has one to two people in it at a time. So it's easier for us to answer the questions. People don't like that so much get really frustrated and really angry with me a lot of times and that's fine um it's still adult conversation and I have friends at work and it just makes my life so much nicer I love it with that being said there is a lot of things that it has changed um I'm driving almost 12 hours I'm gone from my house almost 12 to 13 hours a day and that's definitely new for me um I've been working for almost a month and I still haven't gotten a real routine down of, you know, laundry and dishes and things like that. So my house is kind of atrocious. That is my plan for this weekend. I work today, Saturday, but I have Sunday and Monday off. So that is my plano. Um, I am going to scrub this house from top to bottom, top to bottom to get it all clean. But what I really wanted to come on here today to talk to you guys about is mommy burnout. Um, it's a really hard topic for me to talk about. So please bear with me if I'm kind of all over the place. The reason I went back to work more than anything else is because I was dealing with mommy burnout. And just so you know, I work for our fund money. Um, my husband's job pays all of our necessity bills, such as, you know, gas, electric, water, food, <laughs> mortgage, things like that. My husband pays all of those. I like to buy organic food and that gets expensive. I also like to buy fruits and vegetables and they're not always in season and it gets expensive. And I like to buy nice things and I like to have nice things to wear and I like to go do nice things with my son. And my husband and I both really like good internet and good cable, um, which I'm kind of thinking we're gonna cancel our cable package because we're never home to enjoy it. But I love it. So that is why I work. And many of you know, I've, I worked and had an in-home daycare for years. And unfortunately where we moved to in our town, um, there really isn't a lot of jobs near us, nor are people looking for care on that side of town. We're just a little bit too far out of the way. And I totally understand that. And I just couldn't really handle Colton anymore. Um, he's a wonderful kid. He is so amazing and I love him more than anything. So please, if you're watching this video and you're going, how could you be burnt out on being a mom? Please don't judge me because it's not that I don't love my child and it's not that I don't want to spend every waking moment with him. And I know many of you who have to work um, wish that you had the opportunity to be a stay at home mom. And I can say it was the best thing I could have ever done. And I loved being a stay at home mom for the three and a half years I was a stay at home mom. But over that past three and a half years, and I was a stay-at-home wife before I was a stay-at-home mom, um, I haven't worked. The last time I worked was the day before I turned 18. So I just turned 22, 23. I just turned 23. Can't even tell you my own age. So that's what, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, four years. I didn't have like a nine to five or go into work ever job. So for, and it was almost five years actually. Um, because my one job really wasn't a job. I worked there for like three months. I've never really had a real job. So in the past four to five years of my husband and I being together and having our own place and getting married and getting pregnant and having our son, I very much lost and moving a lot. <laughs> um, I very much lost a sense of myself. I don't this is going to sound stupid, but I don't really know what I enjoy doing anymore. Um, everyone is, oh, you're Colton's mom or, oh, you're Levi's wife. 
And I feel like I've just kind of got lost in that shuffle of I'm Colton's mom. And I even feel like I just see myself as nothing but Colton's mom. And that's something I just couldn't handle anymore. Um, the fact that that's just how I was viewed. It's how I was viewing myself. And I let my get, I really have let myself go. And I've got frumpy and I haven't been doing the things that I enjoyed doing. And I wanted my entire life to be a mom. And it's so heartbreaking and discouraging that I truthfully, there are days where I hate being a mom. Um, there are days where I go, oh my goodness, why did I decide to have children? Um, <coughs> hold on one minute. <gasps> oh, goodness, guys, sorry. And it really is. Um, there are those days, and thankfully they're few and far between, but they were getting to become a lot more frequent. And I was truthfully becoming depressed, and I wasn't happy with my life. And I had to do something to change it. So I went back to work and I love it. And it's really hard for me, like I said, because the only thing I've ever wanted to do my entire life, you could ask me when I was five years old and what I'd say is I want to be a mom. And that's what I wanted to do and that's what I got to do and that's what I am. But that can't be all that I am. And I think that's something that a lot of people struggle with and no one talks about it. Um, we all talk about postpartum depression and what happens right after you have a baby but I was so enthralled and thrilled to have a child for the first three years of his life that I was just so wrapped up in him. And he's to the age where I'm kind of realizing that he's not always going to need me. Um, he likes to do, he's a very independent child, so he likes to do a lot of things on his own. And I'm realizing that that's just going to get more and more apparent as he gets older. And I don't really have a sense of myself. And I feel like my husband and I have both just lost, lost ourselves in the shuffle of parenthood and the shuffle of jobs. Because while I didn't work outside of the home, I was still watching children almost every day, all day. And it's just what we let our life become. And it's not something I'd like our life to stay. So I did something about it. Um, I wish that I could get rid of the mommy guilt for loving my job, loving being gone, and loving Colton being at a babysitter, and loving getting just to come home and spend a few hours just with him, and I get the best of him, and some days I get the worst of him, but I just get the best of him, and it's amazing, and I love it, and I feel so guilty for how much I love work, because society has made it that being a working mom is the last resort. That that should be your plan B. That you need to find a plan A. Um, you need to find, if working is your plan A, you need to find a plan B and make it your plan A. And quit and go back to just being a stay-at-home mom. And that's wonderful for some people. And I'm not going to discourage you or say, you know, go back to work if you are a stay-at-home mom. Because it is wonderful. I love it. I just feel like I got married and pregnant so young that I've just lost a sense of myself. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, it's a lot harder to make videos and it's a lot harder to kind of express the mommy guilt I feel because I just feel like I'm going to be judged for it. I feel like everyone else lives in a little perfect bubble where they love being at home with their kids all day and they hate going to work and I'm the opposite. I love I wake up every morning and I'm like, yes, I get to work today. And that's, that's really discouraging for me because no one understands and everyone kind of puts a negative spin on it. But I'm going to get going. I do need to get into work. I just wanted to thank you guys and stay tuned. I will make more videos soon. Love you all. See you later.